Good morning. Good morning, Miss. It's Santina, is that correct? Santini, yes, Your Honor. How are you? Mm, sorry. Good morning, Your Honor. Jose Cabrera on behalf of the state supervising. All right, Mr. Cabrera, good morning. All right, we'll start. We have, uh, I wasn't sure who we have first, so go ahead. I, I'm not sure who's there. Are we just in one room today? No, we have two, but we didn't get a breakdown. Yeah. All right. Just... I can start with David Cruz. Okay, we can do this to Cruz. All right, Mr. Cruz, this is a Women uh, Act warrant on a violation of probation. Uh, the court having found probable cause on the case and if, that you were uh, on probation, I'm going to have you held no bond on the violation. Your next court appearance is scheduled, to, it is scheduled at January 27th. Thank you. Next. Who is this? What is your name, sir? All right, Mr. Garza, you're here on a charge of battery. There is probable cause. Your bond will be set at $5,000. Yes, sir. No, well, hang on. There's going to be a no contact order with Ms. Uh, Dulce Rivera Medina, as well as Heidi Marlene Rivera. I will allow you to go back to the residence one time to get any belongings that you need. Uh, you'll have to do that with a deputy sheriff within 72 hours of your release. There'll also be a uh, any child visitation. will have to go through the Children's Advocacy Center. There'll be a no trespass at the 500 Logan Boulevard address. Any firearms that you may own or possess will have to be uh, turned into the sheriff within 24 hours of your release from custody. And, all right, well, you can just provide that particular uh, affidavit to the sheriff that you do not own or possess any then. And I am going to revoke your bond in case number 20 CT 1797 based on the new arrest. Have you held no bond in that case? Your court appearance on the new charge on the battery charge is scheduled for January 11th. And Ms. Santini, go ahead on the uh, prior history. Well, not all of it, just if it's a domestic related. Yes, Your Honor. Um, so in 1996, he has one, two, three, wait, yes, three domestic violence batteries arrests at least. And then in 1999, another domestic violence battery arrest and then I think that is it. Oh wait, I'm we sorry. Had one here recently. Yeah, I'm sorry. There was uh, in 2019 another battery um, and then in 2020 another uh, domestic violence battery. I believe it was the same victim in that most recent case. Okay, so we'll see you then, Mr. Garza, on the uh, 27th of January. Uh, you, you're, you can bond out, but you're not going to be released until your other case gets resolved. No. Like I said, uh, not until your other case gets resolved. So when is your other case? I think your next case is scheduled for uh, Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Monday? Yes. So then I'll be a bond then? Uh, if your case gets resolved, then you, you have a bond on your case. It's $5,000. 
And you can post it, but they're not going to release you until the other case gets resolved. Um, I don't have your court date. I, I just looked at it. Hang on just a second. Uh, take that back. Looks like your next court appearance is scheduled for January 13th on that case. 13th? Yes, sir. Oh, you'll need to get with your attorney and see what they're going to do with that. But yeah, you may have that possibility. Okay. All right. State your name, please. Your name? All right, thank you. Mr. McDonald, you're charged with three counts of possession of a controlled substance. Uh, one possession of marijuana, less than 20 grams, and one possession of narcotic paraphernalia. There is probable cause at least to three, two of the drug charges. Uh, on the, uh, well, on two of them, the bond is gonna be set at $5,000. I don't find probable cause. It looks to me like they're both maybe same substance just in different form so all right well you'll have the opportunity to provide a prescription to uh your attorney and uh let the uh them to make a decision on what to do with that as to the marijuana bond will be set at twenty five hundred dollars and the paraphernalia twenty five hundred dollars january 19th is your next court appearance Thank you. Your last name, sir? Richardson, you're charged with possession of a controlled substance, two counts. There is probable cause. Bond will be set at $5,000 on each count. January 19th will be your next court appearance. Thank you. Thank you. You have one more in there? Oh, okay. All righty. Okay. okay.
What is your first name, sir? Carlos Herrera. Okay. Hi, right, Mr. Herrera, you're charged with driving under the influence, driving with a, uh, a refusal to submit, having a prior refusal, and driving with a suspended license. There is probable cause on the driving under the influence. You're about to be set at $10,000, $2,000 on the refusal, and $5,000 with the suspended license. Your next court appearance is scheduled for January 19th. Yes, sir. 17. All right. I'm sorry. Now that's okay. That's the best I can do. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. State your name, please. And Mr. Mejia, you're here on a driving under the influence, driving under the influence with property damage, possession of a controlled substance and uh, instructing an officer. Resisting an officer without violence. All right. As to the driving under the influence, your bond will be set at $2,000 on both DUIs. $5,000 on the possession of a controlled substance and $2,000 on the resisting. January 19th will be your next quarter. Well, actually, I'm sorry. On the driving charges and the resisting, it's January 19th. And excuse me, why are they? On the two DUIs, it's January 21st, the cocaine possession and the resisting charges, January 19th. And you can either post those bonds or you are eligible for pre-trial. We'll let you do that also. They'll come over and talk to you about the pre-trial release or your bail. That way you can make a decision which one you want to do. Okay. All right. Thank you. Do you want the last one? Yeah, we're ready. Uh, Pablo Blackman Torres. He's the one that needs the Spanish trigger. Okay. All right, Mr. Uh, Vaca Arras, you're charged with driving under the influence and driving with an expired driver's license. The court will, will appoint the Spanish translator to assist you on the driving under the influence charge. Your bond will be set at one thousand dollars. and $500 on the driving with an expired driver's license. 
Your next court appearance on these charges is scheduled for January 21st. Thank you. All right. I think that's it. We're going over to NJC 2.1. All right, if you would please, if you would raise your right hand and be sworn for me, please. And you swear or affirm the evidence you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. All right, you may be seated. Thank you. I have uh, Nancy Acevedo Mendoza. Sir. I don't know. We'll find that out. Ma'am, do you, yeah. do you speak English? No. Okay. So we'll do the Spanish interpreter for Ms. Mendoza. She's charged with aggravated battery. in possession of a controlled substance. There is probable cause as to each charge. On the aggravated battery, her bond will be set at $10,000. $5,000 on the possession of a controlled substance. As a condition of her bond, she will not to have any contact with Mr. Julio Rodriguez. She'll also be required to turn in any firearms that she may own or possess to the sheriff. Within Ms. Santini, any prior domestic violence issues? Um. No, Your Honor, there's no criminal history. Okay. Um, and Your Honor, are you going to do a no trespassing at their home address? I, do you know what it was? I couldn't figure that out unless it's just the address that she has on her. I mean, it's occurred at a CVS, so I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, it's not in the report. I guess it's on the booking sheet of the address. I'll do the uh, no trespass at the 6480 College Park Circle. Here in Naples, it's Unit 305. Uh, it's a Unit 305. And her next court appearance is scheduled for January 19th. Thank you. Yes. Vanessa Torres Crawford. All right, on the grand theft center, bond will be set at $5,000. And the court is going to revoke her. ROR status in 20 CT 512. It's still pending, right? We're going to revoke her bond anyway, her ROR status on that. I think she's the one that's set for Monday. All right. Alejandro Bajaris. Is 
you speak English, sir? No. All right. We'll appoint the Spanish interpreter. Mr. Barajas uh, charged with possession of a controlled substance. Possession of marijuana less than 20 grams. Possession of narcotic paraphernalia. And giving false information to a law enforcement officer. There is probable cause. His bond will be set at $5,000 on the possession of cocaine. And $2,000 on each of the remaining charges. His next court appearance will be scheduled for January 19th. Thank you. Edwin Castillo Garcia. Um, set the bond on a no valid DL at $500, $5,000 on the possession, and $2,000 on the paraphernalia. We'll appoint the Spanish interpreter for him. Now, Joseph. Joseph on the possession of firearm by a convicted felon is $10,000, $5,000 on the other remaining charges. There is probable cause on those. And January 19th will be his next court appearance. Juan Pedro Lopez Garcia. Yes. We will do that. All right, Mr. Lopez Garcia, you're charged with resisting an officer without violence. <clears throat> not having a valid driver's license. Leaving the scene of a crash with property damage. And reckless driving. There is probable cause as to the four charges. When they're resisting an officer without violence and leaving the scene of the crash, your bond will be set at $2,000. $500 on the not valid driver's license. And 1,000 on the re reckless driving offense. January 21st will be your next court appearance. We have Vincente Mirarato Alvarado. Spanish interpreter will be appointed. Mr. Alvarado, Alvarado, you're charged with driving, excuse me, one count of battery. There is probable cause. Bond will be set at $2,000, there'll be a no contact with Miss Lucia Villa. I will allow you to return to the residence one time in order to get your belongings within 72 hours of your release from custody. Otherwise, there'll be a no trespass order at the 2560-55th Terrace Southwest address. You'll also have to turn any firearms you may own to the sheriff within 24 hours of your release from custody. Your next court appearance is scheduled for January 11th. Thank you. And just for the record, he has oh. no violent priors. Thank you. All right, I believe that's everyone. That's everybody I can tell.
Yes, sir. All right. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Ms. Santini. Thank you, Your Honor. Honor. See you tomorrow. All righty. Bye-bye. Your Honor.